Hello everyone. Welcome to the Havelock Wool Demo Center. My name is Josh, this is Cyrus. We wanted to show you a little bit more about how to blow in our loose fill blow in product. Today we're gonna get our new DIY blower box. We're gonna show you how to unbox it, set it up, and use it to install wool into two x four and two x six wall cavities, a vented attic, and a cathedral ceiling. Let's get into it. Let's do it. To get started, you will need the following basic tools and materials. A tape measure, a utility knife, a pencil, a hammer or pry bar, safety glasses, a stapler, either a slap style stapler, manual stapler, pneumatic or electric stapler, drill with drill bit, jigsaw or handsaw, impact driver or electric screwdriver is also handy. Insulation mesh, can be purchased at any big box store. This is quarter inch polyester mesh, two sawhorses, and a sheet of plywood or OSB. Unwrapping the pallet. The pallet will come wrapped and delivered to your curb. You can unwrap the pallet and cut the plastic bands to hand load the individual bags to their final location. Unboxing the blower. This may prove to be the most challenging part the claw of a hammer or pry bar can be used to pry the tabs vertically. Make sure to keep them vertical for attaching the lid when you're finished. After the tabs are straight, you can pull the lid straight off. This crate includes everything you will need to assemble the blower. Please remove the contents. For transport, the blower has been attached to the bottom of the crate. Please remove the four screws. Don't forget to put these screws back in as you will need them to send the crate back. Setting up the blower table. Set a sheet of plywood on top of the sawhorses. This will serve as your sorting table as you feed the hopper. Next, we will take the large hose and trace the diameter with a pencil. This is the blower in-feed hose. Next, drill a hole on the inside of the circle you just traced. With your jigsaw, cut the circle out. Insert the hopper suction hose underneath the table and manually bend over the tabs to secure it. Connect the other end of the inlet of the blower and secure it with a hose clamp. Connect the blower hose to the blower outlet again with your impact or screwdriver. To aid in feeding the wool into the blower, use the plastic packaging from one of your wool packages to make a slick surface. Cut one pack open lengthwise and flatten it out on the table. Cover as much of the table as you can and staple the plastic down so it does not slide around. Last, cut out an opening for the blower infeed tube. This will be your hopper. Installing the mesh. Begin by measuring the width of your area you will be filling with insulation. Then measure the height. Roll out enough mesh for the wall you will be working on. Hold the mesh in place and fix the top corners with staples. Next, tack down the middle of the bottom edge. Then tack the rest of the perimeter to each stud. Use plenty of staples. Don't worry, every two or three inches works fine and you can't staple it too much. Blowing into a two x six wall cavity. With your utility knife, cut a small slit in the mesh and insert the blower tube. This part takes two people. One person feeds small clumps of wool into the hole of the table where it gets sucked into the blower. From there, the wool travels down the tube, through the blower, out the longer tube, and into the wall cavity where it is trapped by the insulation mesh. As one stud cavity fills, cut a slit in the next one and move the tube over to fill it. A third person can be added to increase speed. Gradually fill the wall cavity, making sure no voids develop and it doesn't get too compacted. 
blow above and below any wiring to get even filling. Check for voids and manually stuff wool to fill them up. A 2x4 wall cavity. Filling 2x4 wall cavities is the same as filling 2x6, but you'll want to adjust your technique to allow for smaller volume and faster filling. Installing baffle venting in your attic. When adding loose insulation to your attic, it is important to add vent guards to ensure that your attic space vents properly. These attic baffle vents are available at any home center. Simply hold the baffles in place and secure them with staples. Install one baffle for every soffit vent. To ensure minimum depth of insulation, use cardboard strips or paint sticks to mark the desired depth and staple to the ceiling joists. Blowing Attic Ventilation. With the vents in place, you can begin blowing the insulation between the joists to the specified depth. As the insulation builds up, you will want to use a rake to level the insulation out and spread it around where needed. Start blowing at the farthest point of your attic from your access point and work your way back out. Install all of the bags into your attic. Raised heel trusses or cathedral ceilings will install exactly the same. Use a rake or pitchfork to consolidate or shift the wool as needed. Thanks for joining us here in the Havelock Wool Demo Center. If you have any questions or concerns about this blow-in installation process, do not hesitate to call or contact us.